Hello there, internet people. I'm uh, just going to show quickly my workflow in Kden Live. Uh, using Simple Screen Recorder to record, it is fantastic. So I'll get rid of that and fire up Kden Live. Here we go. This is my super duper layout. It slices, it dices, it does everything. Uh, as you can see, I only have one monitor. I believe there shouldn't be too many distractions. So let's go grab some footage uh, out of my stock 4K. Uh, you can see I've been here before. And uh, some S-Log2 footage from, from a Sony A7S2. So I'll drag in a few clips um, just to have something to play with. And you can see, oh yeah, definitely switch to 4K. Uh, grab some more. This is the really beautiful Spitzkopper. If you've never been there, if you go to Namibia, please go. It is a fantastic place. So, oh, why, 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 why? I can't view. There we go. Okay, so we we have enough to to play with, so we'll we'll pick a clip. Oh, let's say okay, yeah, this this looks good. Play a couple of seconds of that. Grab it in. As you can see, it's a it's a fairly flat picture profile, but we'll we'll do our uh, drawing in first. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll put a few clips on the timeline before we do any color matching and and playing with colors. And there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, why do I have this twice? Go ahead. So, I'll just drag some footage in. Uh, there might be a little bit more. That's pretty. Uh, this guy. So you can see there's a there's a fair fair range of. The lighting in this video. So now, now we'll pop over to what's on the timeline. As you can see, once once I start working on the timeline, the clip thing goes away. And the moment you add an effect, instantly the system changes over. Now, I don't know if this is right or not, but I get a really quick uh, color grading from from the effects. As you can see, two ticks later, and you're your footage looks good. Now I want to fake a sunrise here, so I'm going to overdo a little bit and then on the back uh, just add a type of keyframe, make it a bit lighter, get rid of that. On to the next guy. Ah, there's a stupid bug that annoys me. Um, so we'll put some levels on this guy as well. And the idea here is just to clamp down the range that's being used. Uh, this is one I would actually add some saturation as well. Just to just to make it a little bit more striking. There you go. Over to this guy, same thing, levels. And like I say, there's there's people that spend a lot of time color grading but Nah, this this seems to seems to do the trick for me. And then finally over to this guy. Same thing, levels and I'll just clamp down oops, a little bit too much. Now you can punch into the into the thing if you want some more shadows, but yeah. Seems to work fine for me. So there we go, nice beautiful sunrise, sunrise colors. So, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a split scope of scenery. Now, if you want to do more color grading, let's let's get something that's difficult. This this guy has a bit of a color cast to it. I uh, filter, uh, I put an indie filter under my my indie filter has has a bit of a purple color cast. So. We'll see how to how to repair that. 
So yeah, again, grab a few seconds of that. And away we go. And instantly levels again, just to do the basics. And you see this has been underexposed and therefore you'll get a bit of noise once once we uh, play with it, you'll see there's some noise. But on the vector scope, when we do color balancing, you can see it, it bounces quite a bit. Now, easiest way to fix that is just lift gamma gain, and you can see it's a little bit too purple, so let's, you can see as you drag this one around, the, the colors on the vector scope moves around as well, so we want, we want it to look a little bit more on the vector scope, like the one next to it. So now if you go beyond it, you can see it uh, needs a little bit more yellow, so we'll just go down this way a little bit and give it a bit of a color there. So maybe a little bit more saturation. And we'll stick that up in there. So that is fairly close. And on Caden Live now, it's got a re redone uh, render widget. It's quite a, kind of nice. So well, we won't save this if, if you've saved your video then then this untitled will be something else so we'll just render that and uh, there you go uh, quick show around what this thing does so there's this histograms for the people that like histograms affects all your effects lists if you have something now I normally if you can add things to favorites so if I use the effect a lot it becomes one of my favorites here uh, but yeah it's it's there uh, when you do audio you can actually record onto your timeline straight away it's it's kind of nifty uh, like I say uh, I, I do everything in this view I don't actually change between views because the this does everything I need so we'll see how fast far along our render is and I'll add this render to the end of the video in fact I'll, I'll just play it and that, that should capture it fine but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed just watching this quick and dirty color grading normally you can spend a lot of time getting it just right but for for quick editing you know you drag your stuff in get them close and then you later on you can move things around and and spend as much time as you need to get it perfect so let's see what that looks like yeah split scope one of my favorite blasters Oh yeah, thank you very much.